The Create Grid Array tool is a powerful feature that lets you quickly create copies of an object or objects in your workspace in regularly spaced rows and columns. This rich tool contains a multitude of customization options, including adjusting spacing, mirroring objects, randomizing their orientation, and many more. Some of its uses include duplicating designs for batch production, maximizing utilization of your material, creating designs requiring precise spacing, and generating unique patterns. Before opening the Create Grid Array window, select all of the objects you'd like to array to make them active. Then click the Grid Array button located in the Modifiers toolbar on the left side of your workspace. Here we have lots of options for creating and customizing your grid. All settings are updated live, so if we move this window off to the side to uncover our graphics, we can verify our choices before committing to them. The X columns and Y rows text boxes let you specify how many copies you want to make in the horizontal and vertical dimensions. To change the value in these or any other text box, you can click and directly enter a number, use the arrow keys to incrementally increase or decrease the value, or use your mouse's scroll wheel to quickly adjust up or down. Total width and height give you an alternative option for specifying the total number of copies to make in each dimension. Set the value in these fields to the maximum size area you want your grid to occupy, and Lightburn will set the columns and rows automatically to whatever count is necessary to fill the specified size without going over. If you know the length and width of the material you're using, this allows you to maximize the number of copies you can produce. If you don't adjust these fields directly, they'll automatically change to reflect the width and height of your grid as determined by your other settings. In some cases, it's best to create a handful of rows and columns, adjust your settings to produce an efficient layout, and only then enter total width and height values. X and Y spacing lets you specify the distance between each copy in the horizontal and vertical dimensions. Using the toggle options underneath the text boxes, you can set these values to apply from the object's centers or edges. When you switch between distance from center to center and padding between edges, the spacing text boxes update to reflect this. Reverse direction changes the direction that the copies are generated in. It can be enabled individually for each dimension. X column and Y row shift offset every other column or row by the specified amount, shifting alternative columns or rows left, right, up, or down. Shift by half offsets alternative columns or rows by half the total width or height of the original object. Mirror alternate columns and mirror alternate rows in X or Y flip copies of the original object in the selected dimension for every other column or row. Testing out different combinations of the XY spacing, XY shift, and mirror options individually or in combination is a great way to efficiently lay out objects to maximize material utilization. Random orientation rotates each copy of the original object, great for creating grids with organic looking patterns. The text box next to the toggle option allows you to choose a seed number for the starting point of the randomly generated orientation. Adjusting the seed number changes the orientation, and using the same seed number later on lets you duplicate the same orientation. Auto increment variable text applies an offset to text in each copy created within the array, automatically advancing output if you're using merge CSV or serial number formatting. The text box next to this option determines the amount that each duplicate's offset will advance. We have a full video covering variable text in detail, along with using this function with grid arrays linked in the description for anyone interested in learning more about this powerful feature. Create Virtual Array makes an array of synced clones of the original object instead of independent copies. This is another topic that we've covered in a standalone video that'll be linked in the description. Towards the bottom is the total size and count info bar that shows you the resulting array's size in X and Y and total number of copies output, including the original object. When group results is enabled, all objects in the array are grouped after it's created. When select results is enabled, all objects in the array are automatically added to your selection when it's created. Once you're happy with your settings, click OK to confirm and create the array. 
or cancel to discard and close out of the window. Now you know how the grid array tool works and how it can be used to duplicate objects in your workspace. There's a lot to unpack with this tool and many possible uses, so it's best to jump in and play around with the different settings to get a full sense of its capabilities. Check out our documentation for more info on the grid array tool, and be sure to like and subscribe for more great videos on mastering Lightburn.